YouTube. This is your boy, Mr. Russell Mack. Welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. Today, I'm going to be talking about a 2020 release from the brand John Paul Gaultier. Okay, um, I hope you're having a great day. It's been a while. It's been about three days. I had uh, death in my family, so I, you know I took a couple of days off to take care of my family and to do all that I had to do with the funeral. But I'm back, family. I'm glad you guys stuck around uh, with me, you know, over here at Solomon's Vineyard. So I'm gonna do two things in this video. I'm gonna talk about a fragrance, a new fragrance that I recently got, and I'm going to announce the giveaway. Uh, my daughter reminded me of the full bottle of craze. I have my winner. So why don't you stick around, okay? And meet me on the other side of the clip. Alright? So peace y'all. I'll be right back. Alright, family. I am back. Mr. Russell Mack, your frag brother. Um, before I get into anything. Um, dealing with this video if you are a lover or a fan of content such as this why don't you consider becoming a member or a family member should I say of Solomon's Vineyard go ahead and hit the subscribe button okay then right down beneath that there's a um, notification bell tap on that hit all and all of the fragrance content from this channel will come directly to your feed okay don't forget to like the video or dislike, comment, or share the video, okay? I would really appreciate it. I'm not on Instagram at the present moment, so for those of you who will follow me on Instagram, you already know that there's a problem. I can't get into my account, <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what's going on with it, but hopefully it'll be back up soon, okay? I'm still on Facebook, though, so I still post into the groups, the frag groups there. Uh, I do individual posts, frag posts, new fragrances, all of that on Facebook, so you can find me there also, okay? So, let's get into, first, I'll announce the giveaway for this fragrance, the Craze. This is the clone of Pegasus. I don't know if it was purposefully or not, but this is a very good fragrance. Vanilla, uh, lavender, heliotrope, you get all of that in this fragrance. A beautiful vanillic fragrance, aromatic fragrance. Um, you get about seven to eight hours <clears throat> of, this, on this, of this fragrance. Really, really close comparison to Pegasus by Parfums de Marley. Um, and I got my winner. And the winner <clears throat> of this bottle of, of Craze by Armoff is none other than Manuel Cisnero. Um, He's a fellow YouTuber. Um, I took uh, great consideration um, of the few of you that did um, participate in the giveaway. I thank you all. Congratulations to Emmanuel Cisnero um, and his YouTube channel. Go check my boy out, um, his channel, and, and help him to grow also. He's a great previewer. He just got over the coronavirus, um, and, and you know this. Is gonna, hopefully, this will put a smile on his face and it'll make him feel a little bit better. Um, God bless you, my brother. I love you. I don't talk to you much, <clears throat> but you're always in my prayers and you're always in my heart. So, Manuel Cisnero, um, <clears throat> he is the winner of the full bottle of Craze by our moth. Manuel, I'll be getting at you. Uh, probably tomorrow because it took me a while. I had a funeral and stuff. I had death in my family, y'all. So thank all of you who prayed for me, who thought about me, uh, who got mad at me. Whatever the case may have been, whatever happened, I thank you. I appreciate it. I need it. I need it all. You know, in life, you get you get all of it. You get the good and the bad. So you can't take one and throw out the other. You got to keep, you got to deal with both of them, okay? So that's why I haven't been uploading anything. I haven't been doing any previews. I hadn't posted it to the frag groups. You know, I, I've been gone, been busy, all right? But I'm here now, I'm back, I'm ready to preview, and I got something special for you today. Um, a fragrance that had been talked about on YouTube several times, and but I'm so, I may be a little late, but I'm not out. And this fragrance comes from John Paul Gaultier. And here is the presentation. 
Look at this big old can. This is a 4.2. Now, I wasn't going to get this fragrance, but my girl absolutely loves this fragrance. I smelled it after purchasing another fragrance. We, we actually sampled this one. Being that the uh, fragrance <clears throat> was still around on the tester card, almost two days we were still smelling. I kept catching uh, whiffs of this fragrance coming from my jacket and out of that cord, man. So she uh, went, snuck off from me. I come home the other day and on my side of the bed with this black beauty. I love the gold accents. You have a black man in the can. Remember back in the day in 1995 when it first came out? The original Lamal by um, Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Well, this is not the nose is behind this fragrance. This is a collaborative uh, effort on, on uh, this, this gentleman. I believe his name is Quentin Bish. That's B-I-S-C-H. And, and Natalie Pattern Channel. Um, they came up with this beautiful uh, mature scent. Let's go on and open it. Now, of course, you got John Paul Gaultier. You got the Lamont name in gold. Or the parfum on the front of the can. I'm gonna keep this can, y'all. I'm gonna do something with it. Now, this, this can opens up. I'm gonna try to get it open. I got my little rag. Y'all see, I keep my rag on me. So this is the can. It comes open like that. And the, the, the bottle rests on a on this podium here. Alright. I'm gonna take it off the podium. And in the can is this beautiful fragrance here. Look at this bottle. I love the all black bottle with the gold itemizer, the gold rim. It has the little ring here to stop it from spraying, which I love. My God, this came out in 2020. I'm not sure, I know it was close to November. I'm not sure of the exact date, um, but I am a huge fan of Lamal. And this is a flanker. Of course, you guys know that um, I wore, I used to wear the original, okay? I used to wear it in the Navy. I wore several of the flankers, even some of the ones that are no longer uh, being sold. And if you do find them, they are extremely expensive. But I'm glad to say this one is a must-have. I don't care what no other previewer says. I know that fragrances are subjective. I know. But y'all, this stuff is outstanding okay it is sweet okay now i purchased another fragrance which i'll be previewing soon i'm not going to tell you what it is yet um and we'll get into that later but right now i am impressed um you still have the john paul lamel dna in this fragrance but they went another direction the pear is not here so you don't have those fruity nuances um let me spray some i already have the dry down here on my Oh, man, let's get it on this hand here. Look at the itemizer. This sprays very well. You get a lot of juice that comes out of the itemizer. Of course, you get the little alcohol for evaporating sake. But let me let this dry off a little bit, and um, we'll get off into the scent. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you the notes why this is drying. Okay, at the top, you got cardamom. All right, that's all they give us in the, uh, the note pyramid. In the heart, though, you have lavender along with iris. Then you have vanilla, okay, with woody notes and oriental notes. Now, that's what's in the note table. Of course, I know that there, there's certainly other notes in, in the pyramid, and I'll tell you what I think in, in shortly, okay? Now, what you get when you open, when you spray this fragrance, you get a, a super dose of, of this cardamom, um, lavender, and iris. You smell that along with alcohol, a bunch of sweetness. It almost leaned toward the Garmonish territory. Oh, man, this stuff is good. You get the... Oh, man. This stuff is so good, y'all. It has almost like a candied, sugary vibe. I, I think, you know, I'm not certain because I, I don't really... I didn't really dig too deep with the notes. I just took what they gave me. But you get... It's almost like a licorice, creamy-ish type of vibe you get from it. 
you get the original DNA, but what they seem to have done was they made this more modern, more mature, oh my God, mass appealing, um, it's sweet. This one is certainly one that you're going to wear for dates, club action. If you're going to be out at night, to, at dinner, uh, a late night meeting, <clears throat> if you're hanging out with the, with the fellas, um, I think even a woman could rock this too. Just gonna throw that in there. Uh, but if you're gonna be out late with the fellas, this is gonna be one of the new hot night action fragrances. I can tell you right now, people are steady finding out about it. I, uh, at Macy's, they said the, the, the lady, Sister Paula, shout out to Paula. She may be watching tonight. She's the salesman over at Macy's, her and Carla, two ladies that work at Macy's in Baton Rouge. Shout out to your girls out at the Mall of Louisiana. They said they can't keep this in stock, okay? Every time they get it in, they sell out of it. So apparently people are buying, men are buying it, or women are buying it for their husbands or boyfriends or or the uh, or the, 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 uh, the, the, the side piece, if you will. Somebody buying it, and I see why. This, this, I love the black, the presentation. It, it has the original, um, you know, the, the torso shape but different in color. We know the original Lamal is a green bottle, which I'm, I have to go back and get it. I got to. I can't have this one and not have that one. Now, if you've never smelled the original Lamal, I suggest get you a sample of that before you get your hands on this one. But if you're familiar with the 1995 release by uh, John Paul Gaultier by Mason Francis Kirk John, this is just a improved flanker, okay? Although it has the DNA, it does have some uniqueness to it to say that it came from the, 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 the fruity nuances, the pear they had in the, in the original. This has a, it, it, it's, it's a total different style of fragrance. It's more warmer, it's deeper, it's more complex, it's sensual. It's definitely going to be a, a, uh, a compliment getter, a mass appealing fragrance. It, it's alluring, it's intoxicating, and this stuff is addictive. The more I smell it, the more addictive I get to it. So if Lamal, the original, is the 25-year-old brother or 20-year-old brother, it's, uh, it's, it, this is the 30, 30, 35, 40-year-old brother, okay? I believe that anybody could wear, could rock this from the early 20s to 40, up to 70, could rock this fragrance. This stuff is going to be, if not already, it's definitely going to be a must-have, okay? I, I, I love it that much. Now, I know everybody not going to like this fragrance, okay? I get it. But if you like sweet, mass-appealing fragrances, if you like iris, you get this powderiness along with the, the sugariness. You get the vanilla note, okay? I believe amber is in this fragrance. Benzone, it has to be, okay? I don't know about Tonka Bean. It's a possibility Tonka Bean could be in it. I know they said woody notes. I'm going to go so far even as to say the way the fragrance is structured, I believe um, that sandalwood is also in this, okay? Oh, my God. I know some cedar is in it, okay? But I, uh, but the main notes, okay, I, I get it. They said vanilla, lavender, iris. Yes, it's powdery. What else has iris in it? Dior own, okay? It has that powderiness from the iris it got the the uh, spiciness from the cardamom oh my god the lavender i can, i believe even some sage is in here okay now i know there are tons of previews on youtube just add this one to it we all saying the same thing none of us are better than the other we just tell you what we find basically what we telling you this is a mature modern compliment getting sweet club bag I'm definitely going to be wearing this. This is why I'm glad she went on and got me the big 4.2 because I would have went straight, went through that 2.5, okay? Now, there seems to be a conflict with the price, okay? I, I think they, they might have jacked her unless, now, this is what they told me. The price could be a little different online. So you may pay 103 online as, a pay, as opposed to paying 128 in the store for this big 4.2. Now, I believed you were supposed to get, you could get the 4.2 for 103, but I think that's only online. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out first. 
before you go in the store. Y'all know these salesmen. They'll tell you just about anything to keep from working. I went in Macy's the day before I got this one, and I got a a, uh, a representative. It wasn't so nice. But that didn't stop me from purchasing what I went to get, okay? So be careful when you go and buy retail, okay? I paid one, or she paid about 140 okay? That's that's with tax. It's 128 and it's 12% tax here in Louisiana, all right? So um, all in all, um, of course, you know you can get it online. So whether you get it retail or, or wholesale, um, hey, either way, this is worth the money you're going to spend, okay? Now, I got eight to nine hours with this fragrance. It didn't really start drying down to around the six, seven and a half hour mark. Um, and even then, you, you're gonna be still catching whiffs of this stuff, especially if you spray it on your clothes, okay? Um, this leans more toward the winter months, all right? The late fall, maybe even spring some of them cool spring days breezy spring days you can wear this um you get about a foot and a half projection um what else what else it, it's versatile yes you can dress this up yes you can dress it down you can wear it with a v-neck and some jeans or some loafers um you definitely can wear it on cold nights when you're going out to eat or if you're just going out to run some errands to walmart you know walmart would be a great place to wear this y'all I don't know. Walmart has become the new club, the 20, 20, 2021 club. I don't know about your Walmart in your city, but in my city, there's a Walmart here that's almost like a club. You get dressed, spray up, and I guarantee you, you meet somebody. Or you're going to see somebody you know, okay? Um, but all around, for me, for, for, for Russell Mack over here at Solomon's Vineyard, this is my kind of fragrance. I can't stop smelling it. I can't stop wearing it. I love it. I'm going to take a shower in a minute and I'm going to spray it on again. Okay. So you're definitely going to see this in a lot of my lists. You know, when, when we talk about heavier fragrances for the winter and cold, this is definitely going to be in the lineup. Okay. John Paul Gaultier Lamel Parfum. This is a great, great uh, fragrance. A collaborated, collaborative effort on behalf of Natalie and Quentin. They did a great job. They did keep the DNA and just added a nice, sweet, warmth, complexity to it. Oh, my God. It has a little powdery in this, a little ambery, vanillic, sexy. I, I, I can't stop talking about it, y'all. I love it. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it, okay? But that's enough, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm getting out of here. Listen, I'm glad to be back. I'm sorry I, I was gone. I didn't let nobody know what was going on. But we know how death can be. It, it, it pops up on us without warning. Um, but the family is okay. We making it through. Thank God. Excuse me. We all still together. All right. God is still blessing. Thank you guys for sticking around all of this time. Y'all must really love me. And I really love you guys, okay? I finally got cussed out in the comment section too, y'all. And I love it. Thank you, Scott. Scott, my, my boy Scott, though, he came through and he handled his business uh, on that video where that happened. But I knew one day it was going to happen. And it's probably going to happen again, too. <laughs> so I'm just having fun, fellas. Um... Listen, I love you, and I'm praying for you. If you need me, you know, hit your boy up, all right? I will be up on YouTube to check out some of you guys' videos. It's been a while. Um, I'm so sorry, though. I'm really, really sorry. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not thinking about you and I'm not, you know, getting fragrances to preview because I do. I got some good ones coming up, all right? So take care of yourself. Get your hand on this fragrance. If you have already worn it or you have it, let me know in the comment box down below. Tell me what you think about it, all right? So thank you. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Manuel, I'll be hitting you up uh, really soon for your fragrance, brother. All right? Y'all take care. Peace.